Newcastle striker Fastino Spria has arrived at Darlington to have talks with Chairman George Reynolds about a possible move to the third division club. And to get the very latest on that, George Reynolds joins our reporter, David Craig. Yes, welcome to uh, Witten Hall. We're up uh, in the wilds of County Durham, where I'm delighted to be joined by the Darlington chairman, George Reynolds. Now, George, you've caused one or two shocks in soccer in your time, but I think this might go down as the biggest. Well, I'm hoping so, because uh, he's always been my favourite player, you know, Tina Aspria. And I think the Darlington fans are going to be absolutely stunned with this. Uh, I always said we'd fetch somebody in, we've got the new stadium underway, and once we've got that up and running, I said we'll, we'll concentrate on the team. You know, Rome wasn't built in a day, but I made Downton fans three promises. One was uh, to pay off the debts, which I've done. Two was to build a new stadium, and three was to get us in the Premier Division. I've completed two of the promises up to now, well, nearly completed two of them, but it's all a matter of patience, really. You know, Rome wasn't built in a day. I know Darton's already built, but that's the way it is. Now, you said you'd bring in big plane players. You went after Paul Gasco, and you didn't get him, but hopefully coming up that drive in just a moment will be Tino Espria. And as I say, this will send shockwaves through northeast football. Well, it's good, really. It's good for the northeast. You know, Darton's have got wonderful fans, you know, and uh, I've tried very, very hard. The trouble is people can't always appreciate the work that goes into it. We've been on with this for seven weeks now. There's been a lot of negotiations going on and we're getting it sewn up. It's only if the Home Office give the, 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 the um, uh, what's the word you would use? Give the OK to If they it. give the OK for it, if they give that and the pass the, uh, stamp the passport thing and everything else, we'll be all right. I'm praying to God that happens, you know, it's not for the one to try and we've tried very, very hard. This won't be the first and it won't be the last. We've got one or two more in the pipeline yet. Well, I think uh, your man is certainly coming up the drive by the looks of it here any second now. Tino Aspria arriving back in the northeast, of course, uh, last here with Newcastle. And here he is. George, here's your man. Isn't it wonderful? Uh, you know, he's been, on the, he's been coming over three days now, which had been a long time, really. And it's, it's been a hard journey for him. He's had no sleep for three days. Here he is. Well, you better <laughs> go and say hello. <laughs> Hi. How are you? Good, great. Yeah, it's wonderful, and uh, he's, he, he, you know, he's a man of high calibre, and you know, more than we expected, and he, you know, he's here to help us, and if he can help us to get from the third division to the second, climb up that ladder, it'll be wonderful for us, and I'm ever so pleased to have him, I'm pleased for the fans, I'm pleased for him, I think we work together, he'll give us a lot of help, and he's way above our ca calibre, what we expected, you know, but it, we've got to try, haven't we, and I think he'll do a wonderful job, and he's a great personality, and also we needed a personality on there, you know? Tino, can we just ask you very briefly, what's it like to be back in the North East? Yeah, I'm very happy this time. The new in, in England, uh, my new club, uh, as well, I had the score for Darlington coming to Premier, Premier League. You were a massive success story at Newcastle United to come to Darlington. I mean, the fans here will just think it's a dream come true. Yeah, my Newcastle is before, it's, yeah, uh, it's before playing Newcastle. For now, it's my new team is Darlington. I'm very happy. It's very happy, happy. What did George have to do to persuade you to come here? One well, my uh, speak, my friend. <laughs> speak. He's a, he's a good friend of mine. We, we're very big friends and uh, we've grown a great relationship over the last few weeks, you know. Uh, we've gelled very well together, you know, and this is very good and I'm, I'm literally over the moon with it. And it's been so good, you know. I'm so pleased that he's um, joined us. He'll do a wonderful job for us and we hope we can do a wonderful job for him and we, you know, his girlfriend's here and Dee's gave a big, a lot of help and she's been wonderful and it's going to be a happy family, I hope. Can we take it, is the deal done? Is, is he a Darlington player? Well, he's a Darlington player. Uh, we, we've got the contract all written up ready. We've all agreed terms and everything and all we've got to do now is get that home office to give that magic stamp and if we get that done, we're home and dry. And it's a window and all, that's a hard thing, you know. I think the, the league should never have brought that in. It doesn't give you much of a chance, but we're rushing now for four days and uh, we'll do our utmost. If anything goes wrong, it's not for the want of us trying. He's wanted to put it together. We, want to, we both want it to work and it's going to be absolutely marvellous. Tino, do you think you can help this club get into the second division and George's ambitions to get into the Premiership? <laughs> George, ho George, George hopes to take Darling to the, to the Premiership. Do you think you can help him do that? I think. I think Darlington in, in the futuro is coming to Premier League. Isn't that um, wonderful? Uh, and when can we see him in a Darlington shirt, George? Well, 
We've got we've brought along one along with us if he wants to put it on, you know. We've got a Darton shirt here now, but the thing is, uh, it's only open that everything goes well at the home office. If we get that done, I would like to see him sign on um, Tuesday. I would love him playing Tuesday night if it was possible. You know, that would be wonderful for us all, wonderful for uh, Tino, wonderful for everybody. But I'm ever so delighted about this, you know. I'm enthusiastic about it. I feel so pleased about it. It being one big happy family. Dee's been a big help here and she's worked very, very hard. She's done a lot of phone calls back and forward and it must have cost her a fortune in phone calls. But we've worked very hard on it, getting faxes through and telexes through and things like that. And the, we've been non-stop and everybody's worked as a team to make this happen, including Susan, myself, Dee. Everybody's worked together to get this right. It is the biggest story in North East football. I mean, this uh, will go down in North East as an absolute legend of a signing. Is he a better signing than Paul Gascoigne? Oh, God, yeah, you know, it speaks for itself. I'm not going to criticise Paul Gascoigne. We tried it. They thought it was a publicity stunt. It wasn't, you know. It proved it was serious. And uh, the trouble is that it came out on, on the news about offering him £10. Well, we wouldn't insult a man. Uh, £10,000 would or a thousand pound, that was it, a thousand pound. Uh, we wouldn't insult anybody with that sort of thing. We've got people on more wages than that now. But realistically, um, he's a bigger sign and Gascoigne's not in the same comparison as this gentleman, I would say. Can we, have you had to bust the bank here, George? I know you probably can't go into figures, but have you had to bust the bank? Well, we went to extra, but we're not going to go into money. The money situation is between Tino and myself. I, I, I wouldn't discuss a man's wages no more than I'd dis discuss you as anybody else. And if I asked one of your cameramen what he was on, he would say to me, well, I wouldn't tell you. So it's confidential. Last time we tried that one, it went up in the air, so I don't want to go up that road again. What about a contract length? Is there any idea how long he'll sign for? Yeah, we're open for a two-year contract and a year's option in our favour. So I, I would like to see him finish his career with Darlington. Uh, I'd love to see Tino go from here, settle in the North East, like the North East. We've got somewhere for him nice to stay, and it'd be lovely if he'd done his two years here and then take his career and finish his career here. It'd be very, very good. And um, what would happen is... Uh, I would love to see him completely finish all his time here, which I think would be good, because I still think there's two or three, maybe three to four years left in him yet. He's fit, he's in good condition, and this is wonderful, really. There's been a lot of talk. He said he'd love to play in the Premiership again. Is that with Darlington, or is that going to be with other club? Oh, it's got to be with Darlington, hasn't it? We've got to have it there, you know. As we grow, we would like him to come along with us and go, and the new stadium's coming on. It would have been nice if Tino was run out there as captain or run out there with that team and the success. We would like the success. We'd like the success for him. We'd like the success for us. We'd like it for Darlington and the fans. It'd be a wonderful thing, but it's going to be hard work. Nothing's easy. I, I, you know, I, I don't make predictions now. We take as it comes, and we've just got to take every step as it comes. But with the new stadium coming on, that's a fantastic stadium. It's not the biggest, but it's the best stadium, I would say, in Europe. It's got eight, eight um, lifts in there, taking them up. It's got... Uh, so he's going to have somewhere there. proper to play, George? Oh, it'll be wonderful. And we've got four big escalators taking them up to the seat, so that's a wonderful thing right round. Well, that's wonderful. George, we know you've got business to do. Tino Espria is here. He is in England. He is signing for Darlington, so it wasn't just paper talk. It wasn't a publicity stunt. This man, George Reynolds, has pulled off one of the biggest shocks in football history. David, thanks very much. It's certain looking at those pictures mm. that uh, Faustino Espria brings a couple of outstanding assets with him. Um, but what a debut it could be. Uh, 7.30... Uh, Tuesday night, uh, Darlington, what? Darlington against Carlisle. What a baptism back to the northeast. Yes, it is. <laughs> oh.